Hi friends, it's Maggie. Um, how are you? How was your weekend? How are you feeling today? Today I'm feeling, I don't know, I'm feeling a little confused. I don't know how I'm feeling. I'm feeling a little, I don't know, I can't, I don't have the words for how I'm feeling. Um, so I thought that maybe today we could read a book about feelings to help me kind of figure out how I'm feeling right now. Because I think we're all, we're all kind of feeling weird, right? We're, we're at home, we can't go to school, we can't go to the park and play with our friends or go to the library and do all the things we normally do. And how does that make you feel? How, it makes me feel funny. So let's read a book and see if we can figure out how I'm feeling and maybe how you're feeling, right? This book is called The Color Monster by Anna Yenas. And I bought it in England, so that's why the spelling is a little different, in case parents are wondering. All right. Let's see. This is my friend, the color monster. Today he's all mixed up and very confused. He doesn't know why. That's like how I'm feeling. Look at you. You're all over the place. That's his friend. That's because your feelings are all stirred together. So your colors are too. He's all mixed up inside. I know. Let's put each feeling in a different jar so we can look at it more closely. I can help if you like. Yes, I want to, let's put the feelings in jars. <gasps> Ooh, what's this feeling? How does he feel? This is happiness. Can he smile like a happy face? <gasps> it shines yellow like the sun and twinkles like the stars. <gasps> you feel bright and light. You laugh, you jump, you dance. You want to share that feeling with everyone. Do you feel happy today? <gasps> oh. This is sadness. <laughs> it's gentle, like a blue rainy day. Oh, look how sad the color monster is. Sadness can make you cry. <laughs> it can make you feel alone. But if you're sad, I'll hold your hand. So if you're feeling sad today, tell somebody and they can hold your hand or give you a hug and trying to make you feel better. Right? Oh, how does he feel now? This is anger. Oh, I'm so angry. It blazes red like fire. Anger can make you want to stomp and roar and shout, it's not fair. Oh, do you feel angry today? Mom and dad might say, oh, you are in a bad mood. You're very grumpy. You're very angry. <gasps> oh, no. <gasps> this is fear. Ooh. It is black like the night and hides in shadows like a scaredy cat. Ooh. He's so scared. Being afraid can make you feel very small and alone. If you're scared, tell me why and we'll walk through the forest together. Look at him hiding. So if you feel scared, oh, this is Hildy. She's come to read with us. If you feel scared, you can tell mom or dad or your cat and say, oh, I feel so scared. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is calm. What does calm mean? Calm means you feel very relaxed. You're not, you're not excited and you're not sad and you're not angry. You're calm. It's quiet like the trees and soft like their leaves. Now you're calm. You breathe slowly and deeply. Ah, you feel at peace. Do you feel calm today? There, we've finished. Here are your feelings. And each one has a different color. Let's look at them all together. All right, let's see if we remember which is which. This is 
Yellow for happiness. Blue for sadness. <laughs> Red for anger. <sighs> Black for fear. <gasps> and green for calm. But what's this? You look different color, monster. How do you feel now? <gasps> oh, how does he feel now? What do you see around him? I see hearts. And we use hearts when we want to say that we love someone or we love something. So I think he's feeling a lot of love right now for his friend, for helping him figure out how he was feeling. The end. The color monster. Well, after that book, I think I know how I'm feeling. I think I know. I think I feel... I think I feel a little bit calm, right? I'm calm today. I'm relaxing at home. Um, I feel a little bit, maybe not angry, but maybe frustrated. Do you know that word? I feel frustrated that I can't go outside and go do all the things that I like to do. Go, I can't go to a restaurant with my friends. I can't come visit all my friends at school. We can't all be together. That makes me kind of frustrated. That also makes me kind of sad. I'm sad that we can't all be together. But I feel happy that we can read books together in our virtual circle time. Remember that word? That makes me happy. It makes me happy to read you books. It makes me happy when my cat comes and gives me, gives me a little kiss. Um, and you know what? I, I feel maybe a little bit scared too. I might feel fear because um, right now it's, it's, it's weird. We don't know how long we're going to have to stay away from school. And that can be a little scary when we, we just don't know. And mom and dad might be feeling that way too. Mom and dad might feel frustrated. They might feel sad. They might feel happy. You can ask them. You can say, how are you feeling today? Let's talk about our feelings. And then you can find out how everybody at home is feeling. And if someone's feeling sad, you can give them a hug, hold their hand, make them feel better. If someone's feeling angry, you can tell them, it's okay, calm down, right? When we get angry, you might hear someone say, calm down. That means take a breath and we want to get to that green, that calm, right? So talk to your family about their feelings and about your feelings. Because right now, I think we're all feeling a little bit mixed up inside like the color monster. Yeah? So let's try to talk to each other about it and figure it out together. All right. That's all I have for you guys today. Um, I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, go build a block tower or paint a picture or read a great book. And hopefully soon I'll see you and you can tell me all about it. Have a great day.